Um, just the team's mentality coming out. I know you're coming 48 hours after Selection Sunday to come out and play the way you did, especially in the second half. Just proud of the guys. So, so you know, they should be proud of themselves, you know, because it's a life lesson. Um, I said it the other night. Um, I was gutted, but I, but I was more gutted for them. They, they Their gut is their – because I, I should have a lot more in my career. Players have limited numbers, so I really – was heartbroken for them, um, and then, I mean, it was, it was really tough when they walked out of here, and we were literally just going, man, we got to turn around and, and play, and uh, so we regrouped Monday yesterday, and we just talked about it. We just talked about the life lessons of of how you react when it doesn't go your way. You know, that's what character is, and um, you know, if if we go down and don't play hard and lay an egg and we don't play well, that it's just giving, you know confirmation that the committee can say, oh, we made the right decision. And I said, let's prove them wrong. Let's prove them wrong. That's, that's the choice. And these guys had a good day of practice yesterday, and I thought they came out and, uh, you know, uh, credit Missouri State. I mean, Mosley, I, I, mean, I, know, I mean, I know how good they are. Um, Dana did a nice job uh, matching up zone and going man, and they were, they were that defense. Um, and I thought we got in a good flow and a rhythm. I thought Mo, Jordan Gowire, and Tanner were terrific in the first half. Um, I challenged some other guys. I didn't think we got great production from off our bench in the, in the first half. And in the second half, I thought C.J. Nolan, Ethan, and Marvin gave us great minutes in the second half. Um, and, uh, but just a life lesson on that they can carry, just how you react when you, when you get knocked down. And I thought they played hard, they played spirited, um, and they beat a very good team. Mosley's spectacular. You said he was going to be, I, but you know, here you got uh, Mo matching bucket for bucket and gold wire too. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you're an offensive coach, you were you're you or an offensive fan, you were watching that in in pleasure. Um, they were. Uh, yeah, I thought Mo did some really good things. Mosley did. I mean, he can really score. Um, and uh, I thought our defense was better in the second half. Um, Prim is a hard matchup. I mean, the moment you double him, he found that guy in the back. We tried to double him a handful of times. Um, but, uh, yeah, high-level guards uh, play, I thought, in this game from both ends. Justin Martinez, over on Wednesday. Thank you. You talked about that CBI run you had a little bit, yeah. how that really kind of set the tone for the program. Just what's your message to a guy like Dijon Cortez, you know, who had a short appearance in this one, but obviously a freshman looking to grow. What's your message to try to get him back into the mix? I didn't really have a specific message to him. I just kind of had a message to the team. I'll talk to him because we, not, we need to get him back. He had, we didn't really get him in the flow of the tournament. Uh, we tried to get him in today. I got, I got to get him back. We need him. We don't play, I think, till Sunday. I mean, I'm going to find out. I really don't know exactly. So, so it's Sunday. Um, and uh, I got to get him back. We need him. I mean, Jordan's, you know, um, you know he's, he's given everything he can. Uh, but the message to everybody was I've advanced in tournaments. Um, and you get that feeling of winning in advance, preparing in advance, next one, let's go. And I thought this first one was going to be really hard. And uh, the message was, this feels good. Let's put our name up, and now let's go. Let's get another one. And that win in advance mentality is, is, is part of your makeup that you can really get and build on in that room. And I've advanced in these things. And that's what I, I hope that was the message to these guys. That uh, I know the first hard thing was to get them ready to go after that. Now it's like, let's go. Like, let's win in advance. Let's keep. Keep pushing and advancing. Yeah, you guys slowed Mosley down some of the second mm -hmm. half after it exploded in the first half. You guys do anything different defensively, or were you guys more solid in the second half? You know, I, I think I think that halftime they they said, you know what, coach, you're you're right. The kid is really good. <laughs> you know, it's probably one of those things because he had one. I mean, Marvin guarded him one time and he had his hands down from three. Um, he had another one where he shot faked at the end and we jumped and we got you know, and uh, so I think it was, um, you know. It was more intentional to stop them. We did some things in the ball screen coverages, uh, tried to be a little more physical. Um, but I thought we were way more intentional of, of trying to stop him in the second half. Um, and to his credit, he made some shots too. I mean, he hit a couple deep ones with a hand in his face in the first half. Um, I've seen him do it. He gets cooking, and it's, it's hard to guard. I thought we were, we were just better at making him, his shots harder in the second half. You talked about Ethan and Marvin got shots in the halftime, but those two guys and Jordan specifically, those are your three super seniors who they don't have another shot at coming back. Just how, how proud you were of them, and especially Jordan's performance, knowing that 
they, they don't have anything to build toward. This is just their last round of anything. I thought Jordan was the, was the key, and I thought he had the best mentality and edge coming out, and he was probably who I was worried about the most. It was, it was, it was literally, I was probably who I was worried about the most because he was crushed. You know, he was crushed. He really was putting everything in to get in this thing, and, um, and, and to his credit, he was the one that was just the most ready to play. And uh, that, was, that was great to see. And, and I'm telling you now, now those super seniors, I think now, you know, there should be no doubt about winning and advancing with those guys. Let's, let's keep going. I thought the crowd, I got on the radio, I said thank you to them. It wasn't full, but the people were there, were high energy from the jump. I walked out and, I mean, I was like, wow. Um, and people were high energy, yelling, standing, and I thought the, the crowd had high energy. Let's do it again. Uh, let's home game. Let's get, get more people in here. I know, James, you're on the, you guys are on the radio. Let's get them in. Let's go. mentioned this a little bit ago, but obviously Lyle with 28 points tonight. It seems like he's really been in a rhythm the last few games. What have you seen from him? Is it just a, a comfort level of, you know, putting the ball on the floor? Is it just shooting? I mean, what have you seen from him? Um, that he's, uh, you know, he got a couple to the rack, a couple to the rim. Um, he's, uh, he, he's really, like, he got one when they're flying at him, the sidestep three. Um, I see um, what every young player should do is, no matter what, He's back in the gym shooting. I was up here with my staff. This is a true story. We had selection Sunday. We were gut punched. We left. Uh, our coaches went upstairs. Um, we waited to see who we got played in the NIT. Then we started watching Missouri State. It's 10 o'clock at night. We're still Coaches are up here watching Missouri State film. I look out down my, my office, looks on the practice floor. Moe's got the shooting gun shooting. So he, I mean, that just says who he is, you know, um, and uh, he's just staying with it. And, um, you know, I, I just, he was he was in a great rhythm. We're going to Bob Cruz Bowen next. CJ Nolan played in the Big 12 tournament, but didn't really have meaningful minutes in terms of production. You take a tournament like this and you see what he does tonight. How does he build off each practice, each game here? Go for it. I'm going to really feed off that second half. I told him when he came out. I told him in the locker room just now. I, I think I've told him four times already. Great job responding at halftime. You know because. You know, he had one where he, he kind of migrated in and didn't box out. Then he had another one, a, a turnover, and then a defensive possession. Um, and, uh, and we talked about, man, I thought he made – I thought he had good energy. I thought he got to a bunch of loose balls. He, he got some defensive stops. He got a couple rebounds. Next thing you know, he got a transition. Then he made a cut. He was doing a lot of things, and uh, we needed that. I thought he had a really good second half, and we're going to feed off that and build off that with him. Yeah, you know, you know what the thing about Missouri State is it was just different. Like, we don't see a lot of teams. They, they went right away after two or three possessions. They went to a matchup zone, and then after about 15 seconds, they matched up man. We just don't see a lot of that. So, like, you're running your zone offense, and then, then it's man. You know, so we, had, we were doing some things just to keep cutting, cutting, cutting. We were trying to go to some man offense uh, after that. So it was just different. The size of the bodies, I mean, I think Prim is really strong. Mosley's a, a high-level guard. Um, sometimes the things you see in the Big 12 is like nine of them, you know, that level. But uh, I, th I thought Missouri State, um, it was different the way they played. The way they played that zone, it's tricky, and we don't really have much time to prepare for it. We'll go to Lee in the back right. Piggybacking off of John's question a little bit, you did step out of the Big 12, but playing against Missouri State, you talked about yesterday how familiar you are with Coach Ford, and, and you played them so much. But in a weird way, though, was it almost like playing at a team in the conference you think? Yeah, there, there was a lot of familiarity. Dana played for me. Um, I've, I've coached against Prim and Mosley a lot. Um, and uh, so there was a lot of familiarity with it, uh, playing them. And, but there's also a, res there's a respect for them. It wasn't like I didn't know. I, I had a, a higher level of respect that I told our guys. You know, you got to be ready for Mosley. you got to be ready for Prim. They can really play. And, uh, you know, that's – Donovan Clay. Donovan Clay is 6'8". I mean, he's, he's been an all-league player. He transferred from Valpo. Um, so he's got a, a six eight long body. I mean, so I think the, the fact that I knew him so well and I talked to our guys, I was trying to get across that these guys. I mean, tough eight eight one matchup. I mean, you got a top ten league in the country and then two seed in that league, and some veteran guys. Uh, so I thought Dana did a really nice job. 
of changing it up, doing what we can, and um, so just fired up for the guys to move forward. And, uh, go ahead. I have one quick follow. I'm not sure if you touched on this, might have you have, but Jordan, is he doing all right? I don't think he was looking around a little bit. Yeah, so we'll see. I think it's, it's not as much cramping this game. He did, it, did tweak his ankle. So, um, you know, he's, we'll get him back on the mend and get him going. So, you know, maybe it's good that we aren't playing until Sunday. You know, gives gives him a, ch a chance. So we don't know uh, the degree of it. I think he's coming in. Is he coming in or is he getting ice? He'll, he'll be coming in. Okay. So I guess I know what questions are coming next. <laughs> hey, Jordan, how are you feeling? One more. We'll go to John. You talked about the gut punch and the reaction yeah. to it and all that kind of thing. Uh, and you also said the first one's the toughest in that situation. What do you expect now? You know. What, do you, what kind of reaction do you expect from the team after that win? When I say the first one, I don't mean that the opponent's the toughest. I just think mentally it's the toughest. It's the toughest to see how they respond after that. Missouri State knew they weren't going to the NCAA tournament. They were waiting there. The Valley tournament was over a week. They were primed and ready going to the, you know. And for us, we, you know, we were all set to go to the NCAA tournament. So that it's the hardest mentally to get back, get focused, get, get, get chasing your goal, you know. And uh, that's what it's hard. I know each opponent is going to be really hard. I know Colorado, St. Bonaventure's. St. Bonaventure's one of the oldest teams in the country. Colorado's really, really good. They've had some great wins. So we know it's, that's the opponents are going to be tough, but it was the hardest, in my opinion, the, under the circumstances to get, get them going. And now that I see how they responded, let's, let's go back to work. Thanks, guys. Thank you.